With the bands of snow still hitting many areas, it's been another day of digging out for people across parts of Northeast Ohio. News Channel 5's Curtis Jackson is live tonight in Garfield Heights with the latest. Curtis. John, from calmer winds to clearer roads, the worst appears to be over. It's almost over. The lake effect squalls that have pummeled the area since Sunday are starting to peter out. Though some areas like Streetsboro endured one more blast. Winter is still officially a week away, but many across Northeast Ohio have already been pounded into submission. I'm not a big fan of the snow, but it's Northeast Ohio, so that's the way it goes. But the early blast was rare for many areas across Northeast Ohio. That's because winds across the lake blew from the north, leaving cities like Solon with unofficial snow totals of 17 inches. Chagrin Falls had 11 and Broadview Heights, nine. As a result, many school districts were forced to use most or all of the three allotted snow days. And winter hasn't even started yet. That's okay for some who have enjoyed the early winter break. Um, I happen to teach. I've enjoyed two days off at home with my kids. They've enjoyed the time off. It's given us a chance to do some quick last minute preparations. We did walk out just now, saw the snow falling, and I said, I bet all the superintendents around are just absolutely cringing at the thought of another snow day, but I think the worst of it's over. Well, certainly a lot of folks have actually enjoyed this weather. Plow drivers have certainly made out pretty well with all of this, and many ski areas which start business this week are also pleased about the cooler temperatures and the additional snow cover. Live in Cleveland, Curtis Jackson, News Channel 5. Thank you, Curtis.